Hey guys and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware and in my last video I took a look at the top five gaming GPUs that are according to the Steam Hardware Survey the most popular GPUs out there right now for gaming at least on Steam's platform and all of those just happen to be Nvidia cards. So in today's video we're going to give the same treatment to the top GPUs this time on Team Red AMD's top GPUs and what you would expect to pay for those on eBay. So let's go ahead and take a look at just how much you can expect to pay if you're looking for one of AMD's top selling used GPUs. So according to Steam, the most popular AMD GPU being used for gaming at all is the RX 580. But those of you that know the 580 are also well aware that there are two different variants of the 580. There's a 4 gigabyte and an 8 gigabyte version. So first we're going to take a look at the 4 gigabyte version, even though I suspect that the 8 gig version is probably the more popular of the two. But as we have sorted here, uh, buy it now, as well as uh, pricing lowest to high. As I start to look here, it looks like the 4 gig version is going off for about 275 to 300 on the lower end of things, which is not really at all surprising, especially when you consider that a 6 gigabyte GTX 1060 was going off for about 300 ish dollars. So these are slightly below where the GTX 1060 is. However, with this much of a price delta between the 4 gigabyte 580 and a 3 gig 1060, it's hard to recommend a 584 gigabyte card when there is the 1060 sitting down there at a little bit over 200 ish dollars. So you could probably save a little bit of money by going with a GTX 1060 over a four gigabyte 580. Now, personally, if pricing was identical, I would go with the 584 gig version. But when we're talking about a price difference that is anywhere from 25 to 30 percent, yeah, I think I would probably stick with the GTX 1060 3 gig version. Now the 8 gigabyte RX 580 does see a nice little bump in price. It looks like a lot of these are going for around 375 on the low end and then several of them after you account for shipping are up there around $400. Especially if you're in a location that is going to collect sales tax, it is likely you're going to be paying right around $400 at the low end of things. Um, and there are tons of these out on the market. The RX 580 has been a very popular mining card for a long time. It was popular as a mining card back in our last crypto boom. So these eight gigabyte cards uh, may actually be on their second round of mining some of them, or they might have just spent their entire lives in a gaming system gaming and somebody is now offloading their own 580 because frankly, these cards will never be worth more than they currently are. So if you have a 588 gig card, they're fetching about $400 right now on the used market. And just like the RX 580, the RX 570 is the next most popular AMD card according to the Steam Hardware Survey. And just like the 580, it has a four gig and an eight gigabyte variant though. Unlike the 580, I believe the more popular of the 570s is the four gigabyte variant. Regardless, I'm gonna take it the same way I did the 580s. We're gonna look at the four gig versions first. And as I start looking from the sort of top to bottom here again with pricing sorted from least to greatest using buy it now as an option, it looks like once you get into the legitimate listings that are uh, shipping from the United States and therefore probably shipping to your door much faster than international shipping or anything like that, you're looking at around $250 to get yourself started. And Again, this sort of stands true with the 574 gig here as it did with the 584 gig. At that price, you're better off going for a GTX 1063 gig version because the 1060 is going to give you more bang for your buck because you are still gonna save just a little bit of money by going for the 1060. And there's a very good chance it's actually gonna outperform the 574 gig version anyways. Though of course, if you have specific titles in mind, definitely look into that before you click buy it now for any of these cards because the last thing you wanna do is buy a card that's not suited to your needs. Now moving over to the 578 gig card, this is a card I've never actually had my hands on. I've never had a 570 with eight gigabytes in hand. But just like with the 580, the 578 gig card is significantly more expensive than the four gig versions. Though these are so much more expensive than the 570s. These are going for like 380-ish dollars after shipping, 390. 
I wouldn't recommend these at all. I would far prefer that if you're looking at an RX 580 or a 570, go ahead and spend the extra 10 or $20 and get yourself a 588 gig card instead of the 578 gigabyte card. And this was sort of an issue that the 578 gig had from the get go, where if you were jumping up from a 574 gig card, a lot of times you were jumping to a 584 gig card and that 578 gigabyte version in the middle there was kind of a peculiar variant from the get go. I don't think they ever really got all that popular, but if you're in the market for one of these, it looks like they're gonna cost you almost as much as the 588 gigabyte card and that basically means it's just a card you shouldn't be purchasing and the third most popular GPU according to the Steam survey uh, from AMD or at least the third most popular dedicated GPU because the Vega uh, I think it was the Vega 8 graphics were in there somewhere from an APU. But regardless, the third most popular GPU from AMD that is a discrete graphics card is the RX 5700 XT. These things are spicy expensive here on eBay. With our sorting done, with the buy it now option selected, if you want to just hop onto eBay and pick one of these up right now, you're looking at $800 for a GPU that is not even the most recent architecture, it is really overpriced right now. Although I also suspect a lot of these things have been mined heavily, but it's looking like if today you want one of these cards on a FedEx or a UPS or a USPS truck, you're gonna have to pony up at least $800 to get that done. So these are incredibly expensive GPUs and uh, just like I mentioned with my last video, I'm really hoping that these signs that we're starting to see that maybe the GPU shortage is starting to slow down a little bit. Hopefully these are true because if that's the case, you should definitely hold off on buying one of these because if you do purchase one of these, you do need to understand you're gonna take a heavy loss when the market finally falls back to earth because not only are these already overpriced considering the original MSRP, but they're not the latest architecture. So when prices come back to earth, these things are gonna go for a fraction of what you're paying for them right now. So after looking through all of these listings, I don't really recommend you buy any of these AMD cards. I think they're all really, really overpriced, even considering their NVIDIA counterparts. Uh, you know, if you're looking at a four gigabyte 580, then you might actually prefer to get a 1063 gig version, which probably won't quite perform as well as the 584 gig version, but at the same time, you're saving 25 or 30% of your cost. If you're looking at the 588 gigabyte version, then maybe you might be more interested in a 1066 gigabyte card because again, you're saving a, a chunk of change there and getting very near that same performance. Um, obviously, if you play certain titles that just play better with AMD cards, then that may change the equation for you specifically, but none of these present any kind of good value, even considering the inflated GPU market. The AMD cards right now are not just inflated, they are like Vesuvius inflated, ready to explode type of overpriced analogy doesn't really make sense. But the point being, none of these are really great value. So I wouldn't really recommend, unless you have a specific use case in mind where these cards fit your needs perfectly, I wouldn't really recommend going for any of these. But of course, I do want to kick it back to you guys. Those of you that may have purchased one of these in the recent past, I know I have a buddy that actually purchased a 588 gig card back in like, November of last year, right before the market completely exploded. So uh, obviously he's thrilled with his purchase because he bought one of those cards for a fraction of what they go for right now. But if you've gotten your hands on one of these cards, the 570s, 580s, or the 5700 XTs, let us know in those comments down below. Uh, did you get a good price on it? Are you happy with your purchase? Just give me all your thoughts in those comments down there. And as for the video, if you like it, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things are very helpful for the channel. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.